So as you can see, all the floors are done. Finally finished, they're all sealed up, painted. We have a layout. Um, so it's kind of exciting because the next step would be subloin once we actually start building. But there's one more thing that we have to fix and it's all of these windows. We have 12 windows on each side of our bus. We're gonna get rid of four of them, I believe. One because the closet's covering it, one for the bathroom, and then two for Milo's bunk because we don't want, yeah. There's a couple of them that are already leaking. I think there's only like three that are leaking, but because we're gonna be living in this thing full time and because our whole lives are gonna be in this, we wanna make sure we do this build as proper as possible. So we're going to pull out all the windows and we're gonna clean off all the old sealants, reinstall some new weather stripping and some new sealant um, just to make sure that these, that these windows are as perfect condition as they possibly can. And then we're gonna have any issues down the road for them leaking. Um, because that would just really suck, especially once we have these walls up. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I think it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. There's four screws holding on each side of the window, and I think some of them have them through the side of the trim. I just need to pull out those screws, then cut the old sealant off, pull them out, and just clean it all up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I think it's going to take quite a while. I've got a wire wheel for my angle grinder that I'm gonna put on there to make my life a little bit easier but it is just a bunch of tedious stuff. So I was debating if I wanted to paint these windows at first, but I think once we put up the walls and do all that stuff and then paint the outside, I think it'll be easy enough just to paint them when they're actually in. Um, because yeah, hopefully I'm right. I don't really know. I don't know if I should just do it with spray paint. Yeah, I don't know. So here we go. So that was a nice big fun mess. It's pretty self-explanatory. Things I wish I knew. I didn't really have to spend a whole lot of time cutting out the outside seals and start prying the windows back. I thought they were gonna break, but they're actually a lot more solid than I thought. So just giving them a slow yank, and then as, it's, as it was coming loose, I would get another putty knife and start slicing the, uh, the weather stripping so the gunk was gone. As far as getting the rest of the gunk off the windows, I used a angle grinder, as you saw, with a, I think it was like a four inch, might have been a four and a half inch wire wheel. That seemed to do a fantastic job. I did spend a little bit of time before using a putty knife to scrape off as much access weather stripping as I could. I just did that for the sake of uh, mess, but I don't really think it saved me a whole lot. Next time I'll probably just go back with a wire wheel and get off all the rest of that, that gunk. And then I came back with an impact driver and a smaller wire brush to get back in the corners. And that seemed to do a pretty good job. So tomorrow I'm gonna come around and clean off all the rest of the sills, then clean off the windows. All in all, that took about four hours, maybe five hours altogether from getting the windows out to getting all that junk off. So tomorrow all I have to do is clean off the windows and then we should be able to start sealing them back up. So 
appreciate you guys following along. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. If you could subscribe, we would really, really appreciate it. And of course, send it to anybody you know that might be interested in what we're doing. So, appreciate you guys hanging out. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Gross.